Hi guys and welcome back. I'm filming right on my new camera and let's test it out. I don't really know how will be the sound. Will it be good without any external microphone or not? So sorry in advance for that, but let's go to explore Antalya. So the better starts is with a cup of coffee, fresh brewed coffee and I came to this amazing cafe right behind me, that's the Saye Cafe in Antalya, an amazing place and I met the owner, they're so sweet, oh my god. Every time when I come to this district, that's the super emotions I feel, that's the freedom, the happiness, everything and that's really good. So in this video I want to tell you my impressions on Antalya. Can you believe it guys, we're living here for one month now. That's incredible and that's kind of amazing and shocking by the way. I can't really understand that the whole month passed and that's difficult to me. I, I thought that would be easier, but it doesn't. Perfect. I really love to explore some cafes and coffee shops and the first thing will be, okay, <laughs> let's start with the easiest one. The first thing is that it's kind of hard to find a regular, for me, a coffee shop with good coffee, good quality coffee like European one or American one. There is a huge tradition um, and it's like a national thing here to drink Turkish coffee and it's a bit unusual to drink cappuccino or latte and yeah that's the first thing kind of difficult to find the best quality of cappuccino and latte like in European style the only thing I don't really like about Turkish buildings that you see they are kind of close to each other no space and okay let it be the second thing about Antalya and Turkey that buildings are really too close to each other and that's unusual uh, to me because you can literally see what your neighbor is doing in their apartment can you believe it that's why they have blinders on their windows and curtains everywhere like blackout curtains so privacy is number one thing also one interesting fact that i mentioned is that there are almost no trash bins on the streets and it's really hard sometimes i'm joking no. <laughs> it's really hard always to uh, throw away your trash because there are no bins here and the only way you can throw out your stuff is to find like a large gray bins like you have in apartments or near the apartments it's really strange to me because you can see the trash bins only in the park areas and there will be little of them nearby the sea where like a touristic area or near your buildings and that's really strange and maybe that's why streets in Antalya are kind of dirty because people throw away their stuff right under their legs right on the streets like right on the road and maybe that's why it's a problem with trash everywhere on the streets because people just literally don't have any opportunity to throw away their stuff because there are no beans here strange strange fact about Antalya one more thing that I mentioned about this city and I kind of like it really you see the buildings are grouped like an apartment complex like this one and here I come to visit my nail lady for the first time in Turkey so you see this area is like an apartment area and they all have their names and buildings are named like block A, block B, block D and the apartment complex where I used to live right now looks the same but a little bit <laughs> newer than these ones and mostly you can see in Antalya like tinier six-story or seven-story buildings roofs in this complex 
some of them are like modern some of them like are average but yeah I kind of like it because every complex have several buildings and their own territory with parking area and space for kids and your pets to play and to walk inside oh my god <laughs> an unusual elevator oh my god what's that what's that i need the tent Whoa! that's the most unusual elevator i ever saw in my life Ooh, it's shaking Oh my. So my nails are done and they are perfect. I hope that they will last long. Like for my Moscow cool nail lady. Yeah, that's good. So as I'm done with my nails right now and I'm walking to get to the bus and to drive home. Um, Let's continue talking about Antalya and specialties living here. I mentioned the huge culture of smoking in Turkey and there's an interesting option that there's no ICAS in Antalya. Many Russian people or maybe from other countries used to smoke hits like sticks for ICAS. So there are no ICAS, no sticks for ICAS, no vapes no electronic cigarettes and that's kind of strange because most of turkish people which i saw in which i saw in streets and which i saw in my life here there's really a huge culture of smoking everybody smoke here young men young women adult men and adult women young adults adults maybe even uh teenagers i don't even know but cigarettes are everywhere and that is not so good to me because you can imagine that when you are walking on the street if you pass by a person who's smoking a cigarette your hair literally starts smelling like cigarettes and that's so bad and here another thing about turkey which is strange to me but i know why it happened in here that's about smoke not smoking, but smoke in the air. Let me show you this tree, by the way, while I'm talking here. Maybe it will be interesting to you to see this district, to see the beautiful trees here and how it looks like. Because you don't have to see my face every time when I'm talking to you. So where were we? There's a huge problem with central heating system. We don't ever have gas, so no more electricity. And that's why most of the people here in Turkey um, keep their apartments with fireworks. That's kind of disgusting. You can't imagine how it feels like maybe because all the city is under the smoke and that's huge. I think that's a huge problem. I think that's not healthy for your um, body and for your lungs for instance because you smell it every day and every single evening. You know, just like from 5 p.m. until the morning, there's a huge smoke around the city. And you can literally see it out of your window. Oh, hello! Little Mrs. Kit. How are you? Hey, kitty cat. And every time when we go with our dog for a little dog walk in the evening, it feels like we're smoked like we're smoking cigarettes or like we're just from the bonfire night where the huge bonfire is everywhere not literally but that's the feeling i asked several people about this um is the situation occupies the whole city or maybe just a poor district or maybe there in conial tea the situation is better but no not at all the situation is worse everywhere. By the way, what I mostly maybe like about Turkey is like cats are everywhere. Literally everywhere, in every store, in every cafe, in every neighborhood, you will definitely find at least 
more than one or two cats. People love cats here. So cats are literally everywhere and they are welcoming guests in every um, building, in every neighborhood. All people feed cats like they are gods here and they treat them. That's kind of interesting about Turkey. I love cats so much, but there are, a lot, there are lots of dogs too, and they all are sterilized. They have like tags on their ears, and if you see the dog with a tag, like bright green or maybe different color tag, you can t totally understand that this is a sterilized and vaccinated dog from the vet clinic, so that's okay. Dogs are not really welcome in here because it's a Muslim country and dogs are kind of dirty animals for Muslim people. They prefer cats because they clean themselves, as I read it before. So they're mostly cats than dogs in this country. And when you sit in the restaurant, when you are in the store, like a grocery store or maybe a fancy store, like luxurious stores like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and there are cats, like they're kind of managers here. So another fun fact about Turkey, and it's fun literally for me, but it's about buses and bus stops. If you want bus to stop, you need to wave your hand to stop it for you. Um, because if you, if you will not do it, the bus will not stop on your bus stop, and that's kind of crazy. And inside the bus, when you want the bus to stop on your station, you need to press the stop button to stop it. Because if you will not do it, he will not stop on your station. That's kind of interesting. This is an Antalya card, and this is the card you need to take a bus. Without it, you can't take it. The price for one bus ride costs 8 liras. Also, if you want to top up your Antalya card, like Antalya transportation card, you need to use this system and it's kind of affordable, so... And you see that I have 190 liras on my card, so that's okay, I can take my ride. If the system is kind of affordable and easy to use with Antalya card, and I have to wait 32 minutes to take my bus. Not flavored tea. 
black tea is only black or all green. That's it. So I'm finally on my station and yeah, there is a construction behind me because we are living in a new area. This will be better in the future, but hopefully we will be living in another space in Kepes. Maybe the last point of this video will be about ordering stuff from other countries to Turkey. Uh, because I think that is kind of interesting and kind of different from my home country, from Russia. So in Russia I had, had, that's the main thing, I had an opportunity to order from foreign websites, from foreign countries like beauty stuff, clothing, everything. I used to order my iPhones, my Apple Watches, and everything like that from the foreign websites, from the official websites like Apple Store. But in Turkey, rules are kind of different and you can't order anything like textile, like technical devices, gadgets and everything because they try to improve their manufacturers uh, they support their own manufacturers and I appreciate it. I think that that's a good idea. But for instance, I fell in love with an American sports brand, um, Lululemon. And I was like, oh my God, I am in Turkey now. I'm free from sanctions. I can order anything I want, but I can't. I can't order any textile, I can't order like vitamins and supplies from my herb uh, because customs will stop my parcel or they will not stop it but I will need to pay the huge fee and that's kind of bad but I think that's not the problem and I will get to use it. I have to because now I it's my country I live here and I need to use to it really oh, that was not the last point I want to add a few words about driving in Turkey because it's kind of different drivers are crazy in Turkey uh, and I'm not speaking about traffic jams you know I'm just speaking about the crazy driving because they don't mention the speed limit uh, they don't care about buses, they don't care about pedestrians, about anyone. <laughs> they drive so fast and that's really dangerous for pedestrians, I think, because they don't mention any driving limits, any speed limits. They drive like crazy and buses too. Bus drivers are crazy too. I, I don't think that is normal <laughs> and I don't even know driving rules here. But I think that is dangerous and it's, it freaks me out every time when I try to cross the road. That's all what I have to say. So guys, maybe these points are not all things which I want to mention in this video, but there's more experience in the future. So I hope you like this video. I hope this was interesting for you to watch me and these were my main impressions on Turkey, I think. I can't believe this, guys, that this video was uploaded literally on our one month anniversary living in Turkey, Antalya. Yeah, I'm happy to be back. I promise you I'll be consistent and I owe you videos every single week. I know that. Did you mention any differences in the quality? Uh, in video quality, in audio quality, anything, because that's the first video filming on my new camera and that's really amazing to film on the another device, <laughs> another from my phone and I think that could help me to improve my filming skills. So thank you for being with me in this video and hope to see you at the next one. Love you. Bye.